<coughs> Excuse me. Uh, <coughs> hey, this is Sustor1211 coming back with y'all with another update. Um, this is not really an update video, I'm sorry to say. But, um, oh, well, well, yeah, I can. Um, well, I just got the second coat of the, um, the Chevy Orange. I know it says the Dodge, but it's a Chevy Orange paint. I know it looks kind of pink on the camera because I'm using actually my phone for the first time. I want to see how good it looks. But, um, second coat of the orange. Let's see if I can bring it out. Uh, let's see if I can bring the color out. Nope. That sucks. But it's orange in person. <laughs> it kind of looks like pinkish peach color on camera. But anyway, um, there's that. Uh, there is the hood. I think the hood is coming out real, real good. It's so shiny. <laughs> but anyway, um, um, I know I did one video of that, the post-apocalypse car. Um, well, hold on. Uh, uh, I'm gonna sit y'all down real quick. I uh, got a uh, new one. Oh, I got a new model. It is a, uh, I don't know, oh, there it is. Number 20, Tonister Home Depot Grand Prix from Revell. I bought it from a, uh, uh, Pellerin Mall kind of deal, flea market. And you can tell by the decals are so ruined. But I'm trying to recover some of them. But, I know y'all haven't seen it. I'm going to put it in the video. But, y'all haven't seen it at the beginning. It was a regular model. It was nothing special. But, it is getting turned into a post-apocalypse car. I added these right here. These are actually uh, um, Q-tips. Uh, I put them on the back and stuff like that. This is not glued on. The windows are not glued on. That's not glued on. But, <coughs> I wanted to show y'all what I, uh, my, actually, my cousin gave me an inspiration to build a, uh, Gatlin gun. Uh, uh, let me, I'm sorry, I never used my camera, my phone before. Um, sorry, but anyway, um, it comes off. It's the barrel. I made it out of uh, Bic uh, ink pens. Uh, I bought like a hundred of them. So I cut them and stuff like that. And I use for cell signs. Oh, I use for cell signs. And these little white pieces right here are, uh, <coughs> sorry about that, are Bic pens. This is aluminum tubing where you buy, uh, uh, you buy them from Hobby Lobby. And, oh, it broke. Piece broke off. <laughs> I had to glue that back on. But anyway, um, I made an ammo box. It, it's kind of neat. Yeah, actually the ammo box is actually going to be on the roof inside. And the gun is going to sit right here with the little piece. Uh, right there. But, um, yeah, I haven't did much to it. I just, uh, put, uh, these on right here. Uh, the Q-tips and the body kit. The body kit actually came from a, uh, um, the, I don't really know what the name are, but I can describe it. Uh, like, you know how you go to, um, like you're part of uh, Boy Scouts and you make that piece of wood into a car and you let the wind take it down the hill. Um, I think it's called a soap box or something like that. The little ones, like the uh, where you put them on a racetrack and the wind takes them down and see how far you can go or how fast you can go or something like that. Uh, this is what those are from. I think that's what it's called, a soap box. But <coughs> that's what I got so far. Of the NASCAR, I know it's nothing much, and I got a piece of the row cage there where I'm mocking it up and stuff like that. 
but yeah, um, that's about it. And uh, the my buddy's uh, little red wagon. I just did a coat of red. Uh, it's like two coats of red. It is. Oh, it is. Hold on, do do not do but yeah, whatever. <laughs> Paint primer. Let's see it. I like the red, but I'm not usually for red. It's uh, 8803 Gloss Banner Red. That's what color he wanted the body, so he got it. So that's that, and the frame and everything else is done. I'm not done weathering it. The tires are no weathered, and the brakes and all that is weathered. But other than that, it's it's just sitting like it is. Because I'm trying to get it done for him where I can give it to him and say, here you go. But anyway, um, leave me a co comment on this car. See how y'all think about it. The, this is going to be one of the engines. And I really... <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. But I really don't know how I'm going to add this to the front of it. I really don't. I'm going to think about it if I can't I can't put a I can put it on there but it, I want to make it function uh function right and everything else make it lift up and uh, and it scrolls down if I can get it there we go see it it tilts up and down and stuff like that but if I can't I'm not going to use it I might make some uh spikes in the front but anyway uh leave me a comment what y'all think about it and this model I know I didn't do any other videos, but this one and one more. Uh, but, uh, tell me what y'all think about it. That's the little red wagon. Alright, well, and the Dodge Charger. What y'all think about that? But anyway, uh, y'all know what it is. Peace.